Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is a Redstone 5 build, 17639 for Windows Insiders using the skip ahead option. And there's a lot of improvements to sets in this build, so let's take a look. So here we are, is a set. If you may remember from a previous video, set is where I've got uh, Internet uh, tab using Microsoft Edge. Uh, in this case, I've got a notepad and I've got File Explorer and I could add another tab and I could choose what I want it to be it could be an internet um, like from edge or it could be if I go down to here I could load up calculator or calendar or whatever I wanted to do so they've done some improvements with that this time and the first one is you can now drag and drop so I can say this tab I want it over here so click drag that across doesn't work with the edge yet um, but it does work with the other ones so um, yeah that's good we've, we've got drag and drop um, with tabs which is great to see um, some other things are done now you can alt tab between your tabs now so i can go straight to that notepad tab like that or i can go straight to um, microsoft edge tab they've done this they've improved the settings as well so down here in multitasking options we've got the options of having tabs on and off and um, how the alt tab works as well some of the things they've done they there's things like um, you can right click on a folder and you open a new tab which opens it up in a new tab which is great and you've got things like control T if I hit control T uh, that opens a new tab and uh, based on the previous tab as well. There's some other things as well, like um, you can use Control N to open a new window or Control W to open a new tab. And then we've got the option there to open a new window, open a new tab. And we've also got context menu on here now as well. Um, so we've got close tab. So I can close that tab like that. There's still quite a bit of work for Microsoft to do. Some things are a bit flaky, like clicking on there. Sometimes opens the put away option and sometimes doesn't. So it depends on, I think, what you're doing. And you can see my uh, machine just sits and thinks about it sometimes. Other times it has worked, so they're, they're still working on that. So there you go. There's the set aside working. Um, after, after I've restarted the... Uh, the Microsoft Edge. Soon they'll be adding support for um, Office as well. So you've got to be an Office Insider for that. And if you are, then uh, yeah, that, that means it'll support Office documents as well. A couple of things to, to show you as well. If you've got any Bluetooth devices, it will show the battery. There's the show my Surface uh, Pen battery. Well, that's a new. Uh, any feature, I like the idea of that because if you've got Bluetooth headphones or something like that, it will show you on there. Some other changes uh, the calculator has been improved so it correctly does uh, perfect square roots. Um, you can read more about that on the Windows blog. So, calendars had a minor change, it can perfectly calculate, it can calculate perfect square roots now, which is much better. Um, and they fixed some issues with disk management, some UWP issues, some BitLocker issues, um, some issues with Cortana, and uh, there's quite a few minor changes to that, uh, to this build as well. There are some known issues, uh, still if you can settings and you click on links, so that's the, these kind of links here, it doesn't work. Um, resuming from sleep, you may still be able to see the screen before the lock screen kicks in and movies and TV still has an issue denying certain libraries. Um, so they just carried over from previous builds. So that's the change with this with this build. The, lots of improvement sets, there's still uh, a way to go yet but um, I can definitely see how this is going to be very useful going forward. You can find out more on our YouTube channel on the and at iStixon on Twitter.